Right, hey, what's up, you guys? It's Kitsubaki here. Welcome back to Shiba's Voot. This is part 8, I believe. Anyways, yeah, so let's get into the first event. I will see you guys shortly. Let's go. Never mind. Apparently, we were already at an event because the training camp is tomorrow. So, what are you buying? I'm buying snacks, of course. What else? Ah, I see. Well, that's pretty predictable. Uh, you should stock up on snacks too, Seto. We can exchange snacks during the bus ride. It'll be so much fun. He's behaving exactly like a grade schooler kid who's going on his first field trip. Alright, I'm buying this. Ah, that one looks delicious as well. Oh no, that one too. I can't choose. Oh well, I'll just buy them all. I wish I could buy everything I see. Jesus, Shiba. Well, let's just leave him be. That was a quick event. Let's continue. And here we are being a whiny little bitch complaining about how, ugh, tomorrow is the first day of training camp. I'm so not looking forward to it. Really? On the contrary, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait for tomorrow. Eh, why would you? Well, I'm glad we can improve our voice acting skills. Screw off, Shiba. You happen to have gotten quite high up there. You know how you're voicing the main character of a very popular manga? that's turning into an anime. Also, we'll be hiking the mountain during the training camp as well. Even more reasons to get excited. More like, even more reasons to not get excited about it. Damn right, fuck that shit. I don't want to climb up something like that. Anyways, let's sleep early, Seto. We don't want to be late for tomorrow. And I need energy to hike the mountain. Yeah, I'll need it too, or else I might collapse in the middle of the mountain. Alright, let's sleep early today. We're not gonna actually sleep early. We're just gonna stay up and watch anime, you know what I'm saying? I'm going with you, Shiba. Damn right I am. You have to deal with my annoying punk ass. Okay. He's okay with that, though. All right, let's pack up our things. Whoa, I give Shiba a sudden back hug. Geez, Seto, what are you doing there? Hmm. Your back's really warm. I can stay in this position forever. It feels so comfy. Come on, as much as I like your cuddles, I really need to finish this first. Hmm, fine. Reluctantly, I let go of my tight hug on him. We can continue later when we're done, okay? Oh, I'm all pumped up now. Alright, let's get this finished up as soon as possible. Because after that, it's cuddling time again. Damn fucking right it's cuddling time. We spend the rest of break time inside the tent. Cuddling. Alright, let's climb down this mountain and reach our bus. Blah, 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 blah. Go on to the next scenario, guys. The f Alright, let's invite Shiba and let's give him a call then. This is the fireworks, by the way, uh, in case you're wondering what I'm doing right now. Hmm? Hello? Hello, Shiba? Oh, Seto, what is it? Why are you calling me for? There's a fireworks festival tonight. Wanna go there together? What? Seriously? Yes, I'll go, of course. He's so excited about it, as expected. By the way, should I wear a yukata there? I'd love to see you in a yukata, especially if you're not wearing any underwear below. Yum yum. Hmm? Do I even have a yukata in my room now, though? I'll need to search for it. Hmm. He's too serious about it. <laughs> he's he's so serious about it that he's ignoring my dirty joke I just made. Oh well. Anyways, it's settled then. See you around six, okay? Roger. See you later. All right. I guess I should prepare myself as well. I have a crippling addiction to Easter cream eggs, and I just had one, so I'm trying to talk, but it's not working well. <laughs> oh, Seto, there you are. Whoa, that Yukata looks really good on you. Does it? I thought it was a bit too small. Guess I've grown a bit since then. Well, the tightness is precisely what makes it look so good. Huh? Yum yum. Thick, Shiba. Oh, you look great in your Yukata too, Seto. Thanks, but don't you think I look better with no clothing at all? Seto, stop teasing me in public. But I'm not teasing, I'm asking a question. Oh well, what should we do now? Let's visit all the food stalls and try them all out. Wait. All of them? Yes, all of them. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna eat six things of food, and we're probably gonna try every single thing. Maybe they have, like, six times six, because maybe they have six objects. I'm not doing math. You can do the math if you want to, but I fucking hate math. Alright, first of all, the candy apple. He is so determined to eat them all, there's nothing I can say to him to make him change his mind. Oh, well. Thick Sheba is the cutest anyways. Oh, man. Yum, yum, yum. Hmm, what should we eat next? You're still planning to eat more? Of course, I'm only about halfway full. I definitely need to eat some more. Oh, man. He's already eaten two candy apples, three boxes of takoyaki, yakisoba... Oh, fuck. I'm, try I'm trying not to, like, fail this. Yakisoba, okonomiyaki, shaved ice, two tight... 
Yep, <laughs> and he's not satisfied. I pinch his stomach a little to check if he still has any abs at all. Wah! Seto, why did you pinch my stomach? I feel like there's a big bulge of fat already on your stomach. It's actually amazing it's only a little bulge since he ate too so much. What? Really? Which is why you need to stop eating now. I'll exercise a lot when I get home later. Stairs. Uh, I want to eat at least one more. Fine, just one more. Yay! Shiba jumps up and down like a little kid after he's allowed more food. So, what do you want for the last of your food of the day? I've got to pick carefully. Hmm. Shiba scans the entire stall area to pick his last food of the day. Oh, right! Chocolate bananas! They look so delicious, but they taste absolutely disgusting. I do like Nutella on banana loaf, though. I mean, that's one thing I do like. That's a pretty fucking good, you know? Chocolate bananas. Yeah, I've never eaten them before, so I've always wanted to try them out. They taste disgusting, don't do it. But you've eaten them before, huh? You've eaten my chocolate banana many times. Seto, you're ruining my appetite. Appetite. Whoops, sorry, I'll behave and stop making dirty jokes for once. Why would it be a chocolate banana? Please don't say that. Please don't say that. That's just fucked up. Why did you call it a chocolate banana? Just call it a banana. Please, just the, the chocolate part just adds a whole thing that doesn't need to be added in there. You know what I'm saying? Please stop. Please don't. <laughs> Ah, the chocolate bananas were great. Can't relate. They taste disgusting. Jeez, that's Shiba. He told me I had ruined his appetite, but he still managed to eat three chocolate bananas. Does his stomach not know any limit? Apparently fucking not. Hey, no more eating. That was the promise. Uh, okay then. Oh, I think the fireworks are starting soon, hopefully. Because you're going to become, like, diabetic by the end of the night. We should find a better spot to watch it. And we go into the spooky forest. After a lot of wandering around, we finally manage to find a secluded spot where we can see the fireworks clearly. Boom, boom, boom. Whoa, it's starting. Not long after, the fireworks are showing up in the night sky. It's so pretty, isn't it? Not as pretty as you, though. Whoa, that line was pretty smooth, Seto. I'm always smooth. Just wear the fucking hardcore glasses. Be like, yeah. MLG glasses, you know, those dead memes. Phew, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for inviting me here, Sato. Glad you think so. And I'm glad I had a lot of delicious food. Right, don't forget the exercise to burn down all the calories you've consumed today. Uh, why would you remind me of that, Sato? I wanted to forget about it. I just want to lay down in bed and not move at all. Well, if you ever decide to do exercises in bed, you can call me later. I'm always open to help you with your bed exercise. Stop it, people are watching, you know. Anyways, bye, I'll see you tomorrow. Right, see you tomorrow. That was a lot of fun. Next event. What should we do today, he asks. Hmm, I don't know. What do you want to do, Seto? Hmm, how about going to the shopping mall? Okay, let's do that. Thud. Suddenly the door is open with a lot of force. There's big news. Now I'm a little bit scared. What's going on here? Hmm? Tolchan? Wait, hasn't something like this happened before? This seems like deja vu. Shiba, you've managed to land another big role, again with the private casting. Huh? The sponsor of the TV series has specifically appointed you to take the main role. It's another popular series. This is really going to be your big break. Again? Well, it is certainly a lucky coincidence for something like this to happen twice in a row, but let's just celebrate it. It's definitely not a coincidence. What is going on? Shiba murmurs to himself. I can't really hear what he just said, but judging from his dark and gloomy expression, it seems like he's not particularly happy about this news. What the fuck is happening? Is his- are his parents- are his parents on on this? His parents seem like they're those type of people that would do that. Shiba hasn't been saying much since then. This must be my parents too. Look, I'm a fucking mind reader. I should give up anything that I'm doing in my life and just become a fucking psychic. I knew something was going on with his parents. Something told me. Huh? All of those sudden big castings, my parents are definitely pulling strings from behind the scenes. Really? Why are you so sure of that? Probably because it's really odd to get casted in two big roles, you know, in a row, technically. Because this isn't the first time such a thing has happened. Me suddenly getting opportunities and privileges that aren't given to others. I got to win in concerts because they were friends with the judges. I was allowed to bypass university entrance exams because they had a connection with the headmaster. Etc, etc, holy fuck, Jesus Christ, that's not right. They're probably not doing it con consciously, but their various connections did give me a lot of privileges. People keep saying I'm so lucky to have such influential parents, but... It genuinely makes me feel so incapable of doing anything by myself. If the result is going to be the same no matter what, is there any meaning to my effort? What's the point of all that violin practice if in the end the result is going to be rigged anyways? 
if it's the same this time, if I can get big roles right off the bat just from my parents' influences, what's the point of me attending extra classes, practicing my butt off every time? There isn't any meaning to it, right? I feel so silly for trying so hard now, it's all worthless. Sorry, I've been rambling to myself. It must be boring. What should I say to him? Oh, like, tell his parents to fuck off. That's what we should say to him. Jesus Christ. Let the boy be himself, man. Yeah, you should... You should tell your parents to stop doing it. Your effort is definitely not worthless. Your parents shouldn't have made you feel that way, huh? Have you made it clear to your parents to stop pulling the strings? Well, I've asked them to stop doing such things, but they said they weren't pulling any strings. Well, you know what? They're lying little bastards. They said they merely praised their beloved child to their acquaintances. Their acquaintances were the ones doing it out of their will, probably to curry favor with them. Then you should ask your parents to stop telling their acquaintances things that might lead them to do such stuff. Your parents might not have any ill intent, but it should have an ill outcome to your self-confidence. Jesus Christ is getting deep. You should tell that to them. You really think I should do that, Seto? Hmm? Yeah. I can't believe it. What, did I say something wrong? No, it's just everyone keeps saying I should just take advantage of the privilege I'm given and keeps making comments of how lucky I am. You're the first one to dismiss my concerns, Seto. Really? Yeah, thank you, Seto. Shiva smiles with a tint of blush on his cheeks. You can tell. You can look at those tinted blushes. Hehe, <laughs> you're welcome. Alright, I've decided. I'm gonna do it. Hmm? Do what? I'm gonna have a real serious talk with my parents, and this time, I won't be back- I won't back out no matter what. Good luck, you've got me on the back cheering for ya. That's really comforting, thanks. You're very much welcome. I didn't think I said anything big, but I'm glad it helped him a little. I really hope Sheba can have a good talk with his parents. I really hope so too. Let us continue. Go to the park to get some fresh air. You know what? I've had the talk with my parents. Really? Yeah, I clearly asked them to stop doing things that might encourage their acquaintances to give me privileges. And how did they answer? Surprisingly, they agreed to my demand. Oh, I'm so happy for you. They were a bit reluctant at first, saying there wasn't anything wrong with what they'd been doing. However, as soon as I got emotional, they immediately agreed it. I guess they do love me in their own ways. Emotional? Well, I cried a little bit. Oh. I know, it's embarrassing to cry as a 24-year-old guy. Huh? What's embarrassing with that? You're just showing your feelings to your parents. I'm glad it comes across. Yeah, it's all thanks to your encouragement, Seto. Me? I didn't do anything, though. You did! You were the one who gave me the final push to confront my parents more. I'm so thankful for that, but I still don't think I did anything to be grateful of. But you're welcome. Oh, and I've also rejected the two big role offers that I've gained due to my parents' favor. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I don't feel any regret about the decision at all. In fact, this might be the best decision I've made for myself. This way, I won't feel like my efforts don't matter. I can keep working my hardest to attain my goal without any feelings of insufficiency. Nice going! Really, if you hadn't been there, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to do. I'm so glad you're here with me, Seto. I love you. Suddenly confessing like that. That was too much for my heart to bear. Gee, stop saying such cute things. Eh, cute? I was aiming for more cool, though. Well, it's a mix of cute and cool, I guess. Anyways, I love you too. And a bunch of laughing, and a bunch of laughing, and then suddenly... Oh no, it's you. <laughs> oh, fuck! It's him! What do you want? Take everything! Take my money! Take my money! I'll buy every single costume in the stores! Stares meaningfully. Whoa, since when were you here? The bear from the Love Hotel? The bear writes something on paper he carries. That was pretty touching to see. Here are some free condoms to enforce your love even more. He then hands us some condoms and leaves us alone. What is that about? Oh, well, at least we got some free condoms. Alright, let's use them immediately, Sheba. Uh, right now? When else? Come on. Okay, wait, wait a second. What? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was like, wait, an event's taking place like this? Really? Okay, anyways, next one. Let's go. Alright, welcome to the last event of the episode, which is going to be the wonderful aquarium date. Hello? Yawn. Ah, were you sleeping? Sorry for disturbing your sleep, Seto. Yawn, who are you? Whoa, how could you not recognize me? It's me, me. I don't know anyone who's named me. It's me, Sheba. Alright, Sheba, my dog. I'm not a dog, Seto. No, no, the fact that... <laughs> 
The fact that you have a dog is undebatable, Shiba. Oh. Anyways, why are you calling me today? Ah, let's go to the Ocean World, Seto. Ocean World? It's an aquarium with various underwater creatures. We can also see various water animals do performances there. Like sharks? Of course not! We'll get eaten if sharks perform there. No, we will not. Sharks do not attack humans unless obligated to do so, usually. I don't know. Quite possibly. I saw this weird thing, I think it was probably just a meme, where like, apparently most people die- uh, More people die from vending machines a year than they die from sharks. Look at that, facts. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. Anyways, will you go with me? Will you, will you, will you? Shiba sounds super excited. I'm sure his tail is wagging by now. It'd be too cruel to reject his invitation. Alright, let's go to this ocean world place. Hooray! Okay, let's get going right away. Okay, let's go. Wait, aren't you taking a shower first, Seto? Morning showers for the week. You know you can just say it out right, you're lazy. If you're lazy. I'm not lazy. Stop. Stop questioning me, Shiba. You're a dog. Get out of my face. Okay, I'll just say it outright then. I'm too lazy to take a morning shower. <laughs> if you say so. All right, see you later. Yeah, see you. See you later. All right, then let's get going. Where are we going? To Ocean World. Ah, here we are. It took us about an hour to reach this place, so it better be good enough to justify all that traveling time. Let's go inside right away. Whoa, we are surrounded by fish in all direction. This aquarium tunnel is the reason why Ocean World is so popular amongst people of all ages. Well, that's what it said in the pamphlet anyways. Well, I can see why. The aquarium is incredible. Oh, I run towards the side of the aquarium. Hey, wait for me, Seto. Looky, looky here. Don't you think this fish is really similar to you? Huh? What part of it? I can't see any similarities. How could you not see it? This fish looks identical to you. Are you sure you two aren't related by blood? But I'm only... <laughs> but I'm an only child. I was never told I had a sibling. And besides, he's a fish and I'm a human. Look at that stupid look. It's totally you. Oh my god. I just full on call him stupid. Eh. I don't look stupid, do I? See, your expression just now was exactly the same as this fish. What? Well, on second thought, this fish is cute. So I guess it's a good I look like him. I really admire his positivity in life. I wish I could have that positivity in life, but I really want to fucking die all the time. There are really a lot of fishes in this world, huh? Right? And to think that there are still a lot underwater animals that haven't been identified yet. The world is really vast, huh? We think we've had seen a big part of it, but apparently there are a lot more things we still don't know. Why are you being so philosophical today, Shiba? Well, I want to seem smart every once in a while. Ah, the water show is starting soon. Time flies, huh? I guess it does. Or it swims because of fishies. We've got to go there fast. I don't want to miss it. Okay. After that, we walk towards the water show section area. It's not that far from the aquarium itself, so it doesn't take us that long to reach the place. The place is crowded with people. I guess this show is pretty popular. Welcome to our show for today. Me and my partner, Dolphy the Dolphin, will show you some various tricks and acrobatics for your entertainment. Dolphy, say hello. The dolphin suddenly jumps outside of the water and makes some cute song sounds. It's not a shark. That's a bummer. Well, I told you before, it's impossible to have a shark water show. Do it underwater. It's not impossible. Anything is possible if you believe in it. I want to see some shark acrobats. Dolphins are cute, too. Let's just enjoy the show, Seto. Well, I guess dolphins aren't that bad. The show was a lot of fun. Dolphy was adorable. It was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Yeah, she follows orders really well. It's kind of amazing. Shiba, give me your right hand. Hm? Here. Next. Sit. Okay. You follow orders pretty well, too. Yep, he's definitely not losing to Dolphy in terms of overall cuteness and obedience. I pat his head lightly after that. I don't really understand, but I got a head pat, so it's all good. Uh, by the way, I'm getting kind of hungry. Yeah, me too. I was already getting I was already getting hungry during the water show, actually. Ah, I think there's a restaurant here. It's a restaurant with an underwater theme. Oh, that sounds nice. Let's get going then. Wow! I thought it was just an, I thought it was just underwater theme, but it turns out we're eating surrounded by fish. Look at all these fishies. Look, they're so adorable. Look, it's Nemo in the background, guys. Or oh, it's Nemo's father. I don't I don't fucking know. Don't ask me. Oh my god, look, it's what her name? <laughs> it's Dory! Yeah, whoa, this place is amazing! I have one concern, though. What is it? Do we have enough money to pay for this extravagant restaurant? That's a good question. Welcome, sirs. Here's the menu. The waiter hands us the menus. Please call me when you've decided he then leaves us alone. Okay, let's take a look. Whoa! It's really expensive. Stare. Stare. We communicate with our eyes and leave the restaurant as fast as we can. Apparently, we only eat there with shoe. Sorry, Seto, for being so poor. Well, I only have me and my wallet to blame. No, since I'm the one who invited you, I should be the one to pay for our expenses today. I really want to be an adult soon. We're already adults, though. Yeah, I was gonna say. The fuck? 
well, we're already adult age-wise, but I feel like I still can't do a lot of things that an adult should already be able to do. I want to be more mature, not just physically, but also mentally. Also economically? <laughs> yeah, that too. Growling sound. Whoops, that's me. I guess we're both pretty hungry, huh? You know what? Let's just go eat at the usual restaurant. That's kind of a bummer. We've gone this far, but we can't try eating at that underwater restaurant. The most important thing is the food's taste. The surrounding atmosphere is just like a cherry on top. Don't you think so, too? Hmm, you might be right. All right, let's go eat at the usual restaurant. I'll treat you. All right, let's get going. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. I don't know when the next one will be out, but I'm hoping soon. I'm quite busy recently. I'm going to be going away for the next weekend, so I'm not too sure. But um, I'll try to get some episodes out throughout the week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Kia Tsubaka, out. Have a good one, guys.